probably the most scary thing I've ever done in my life. I'm literally shaking. So we've made it, we've made it to the first island. We had uh, horrendous rain this morning, it was horrible, um, but we timed it quite well. By the time we got there, we managed to get the, uh, um, the, the dry, it got dry just as we got in the canoes and uh, we had a nice paddle across. We only paddled for probably an hour and a half or so. Um, we stopped off at the first island, we just thought we'd get our stuff sorted this evening and you know, have a nice, Nice camp. We've got one of the one of the Dano huts behind that the um, um, the guys are going to camp in tonight. I've got my hammock up. I'll, I'll show you around that in a little bit. But yeah, what a what a special place this is. We've just been <laughs> snacking on polar bread. For anyone who, who has been to Sweden, they have this uh, affinity or love for these round, soft. They're like flatbreads, but they're, they're they are so good, and they they love the squirty cheese. So uh, of many, many different flavours. So we've all just been munching on polar bread and squirty cheese for the past sort of hour. Um, dried out the tent from last night. We, uh, we drove for about an hour outside of Gothenburg. Once we got in, our plane was delayed for two hours. So uh, we kind of drove for about an hour outside of Gothenburg and then jumped, found a lay-by in the middle of nowhere that was, looked quite nice next to a lake and just set up there. I slept in, uh, they make stupid noises in the background. Um, I, camp I slept in the car last night and these two, we put a tent up and they jumped in that. So uh, yeah, it was all good. But uh, yeah, it's all worked out. It's amazing. The sun's come out. Um, the wind is blowing hard right now, uh, but we're just gonna chill for a little bit. Probably do a bit of fishing, I guess. And uh, yeah, just start to enjoy our first night. We need to find some firewood and get that all set up. Um, and uh, yeah, just just enjoy the evening. We're gonna have a couple of beers and yeah, see how it goes. Maybe get the fishing rods out and uh, see if we can catch tea. Be good. Right, I'll show you around a bit. Yeah, so um, we came from over in that direction. The uh, the end of the the canal system that we started on was over in that direction, and then just behind me here, there's a. Uh, an island, we went and had a look at that one and there, although there was a bunch of campsites on it we decided it, uh, it probably wasn't quite big enough and it's been quite windy from this side so we thought we'd come over here, we came over, we spotted that there was one of the Dano huts that are provided so uh, we set ourselves up on there, I'll take, I'll take you over, just, uh, I think I just scared a rat, <laughs> I'll show you, so this is our island for the night over here. Always going to be in the Dano hut. They're going to be camping away in here. 
while he's getting his term arrest up. TD's Very organised over here, very organised. Look at this. I've got my got my hammock set up and it's also created quite a nice little windbreak, hasn't it? It's been quite nice. And the boys are in here. Look at the views. I got this is my view out the end of my hammock. Right out this way. This. How amazing is this? I can't actually go for a wander, so I might just have a little wander back here to see what it's like. It's very calm when you get back in here, actually. I love this place. Just so happy to be back. It's been too long. Three years, almost to the day since we came. Went to a different lake that time. Went to a place called Stora Lee, or a lake called Stora Lee, should I say. Um, uh, and started at a place called Ed. Uh, there's a canoe outfitter there called Canadal. And uh, what's his name? Bertram. No, not Bertram. I forget what the guy's name is. I have to remember and I'll put it in because he's a great guy. Really, uh, really nice chap. And um, yeah, good little outfitter. I definitely recommend him. Here you go. This is a toilet, a little privy back here. You can see. Many different places could you set up a camp back here, eh? It's beautiful, isn't it? Very calm back here too. Oh dear. Toe. No. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So that was very close. Um, for those who weren't looking in the background, uh, Rob managed to, um, he didn't even glance off. The axe went straight through the piece of wood. It split the piece of wood. Um, he didn't bend his knees and um, it caught his shoe. Uh, it took a big gouge out the side of his shoe with his axe. Uh, he knows his mistake. Uh, it was an eye-opener for all of us. We'd only just got there, and I think he's just uh, lapsed in judgment for a second. But uh, thankfully, other than a hole in his shoe, uh, no harm done. Um, I'm pretty confident he'll never make that mistake again. But I think we should watch it back anyway. Oh, dear. Damn it. Oh no! You got fucking lucky, right? I've been wielding axes for a very long time and that was stupid as fuck. And I mean, it's wrong, that's what it's going to do. Yeah, I'm fucking happy to be so. Why would you have worried about that? That's good. Jesus. The axe has had a sharp one. Did you say you got some duct tape in your kept around? No, genuinely, can I borrow it? <laughs> trying to get a shot, an old crinkle crisp over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, one, two, one, two, one. Just flat the fucker over, bro. Oh, he is, he goes full fucking beans. <laughs> I'm surprised he's starting to start hacking at it with the app. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs>
wife not doing any filming. We've had a, a nice day. We had a lot of rain earlier on, trying to get everything dried out and organised. And we just got settled in the camp really tonight. Got our stuff sorted. Cooked some food, did a chilli, and uh, we enjoyed this. It's been a lovely evening actually. It's calmed right down. It was really windy earlier, but that's all calmed off now. So uh, we're all going to jump into bed. Call it a night. It's I think pretty soon. Yeah, it's half ten, so that'll be it. But uh, I'll come back to you in the morning, and I'll make sure that you know cover a bit more of the day. I got some shots earlier while we were out canoeing and stuff, so uh, I'll try and get a bit more of that, and I'll show you around camp in the morning as well. So uh, yeah, what an amazing place this is. Just awesome. I'll spin you around, and you can see what I've been looking. Not bad, eh? The rain's supposed to be coming in at midnight and the wind tomorrow is supposed to be a bit of a tough day. Um, saying it's going to be, I think they said it's going to be 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow. But uh, for now, not too shabby for Mr. Brown. <laughs> Right, signing out.